So guys, I finally got a webcam camera. Basically, it's like a vlogging camera where I can just vlog and do anything instead of holding the phone like this. And like give you the worst angles. But now I have a handle. I can set on my desk so I can show you some videos and stuff like that. So the title of the video is, wait, we gotta do the intro. What's up guys, I'm XR Theory. AKA XR Hyper, I'm the clan leader at XR. Please go check out our YouTube channel. We just, just dropped a montage. Like and subscribe, please. But today is not much of a theory. Today is a really serious video, and it's a problem. It's not problem much of a problem, but it's about the FNAF community and the new game that just released, FNAF Security Breach, or a Financial Security, Security Breach. If you don't know the Financial Security franchise, I'm not going to explain it to you because who, who doesn't know it? It's it, Who doesn't know it? It's FNAF. Who doesn't know Finance at Freddy's? But, yeah. So, basically, I'm going to walk around because I like to walk around and thinking. So, security breach is failing horribly. It's a horrible fail. And I haven't played the game. And just looking at the game, it's exciting. It, I love it. It just doesn't feel fnaf -y. It doesn't feel like FNAF. And for this to be the last game of the franchise... Last game of the franchise. I'm sorry. We already know game theory is going to be on my behind instead of putting them quotations there. Because we all know it's going to be another one soon. But there's not going to be another one because Scott retired and he's creator. So, yeah. But I'm going to explain the problems with it and why it's a big problem. I'm going to sit down now. Because, golly, why am I moving around? Okay, let's put this here. I don't know why it's like that. Okay. <sighs> Okay, this is good enough. I got good lighting and stuff, so, yeah. Okay, so FNAF Security Breach is a new game that just came out from the FNAF franchise, and it's about this boy named Gregory that was getting hunted by a Afton Daughter 2.0. Get on that theory next time, but this explains why I haven't done the FNAF theory. That is trying to hunt down Gregory to complete Afton's thing, legacy of killing kids, obviously, so that's not a big whoop got my hair anyways um and she's hunting down gregory and grandlock freddy is helping him but the other animatronic seems like something's wrong with them and they're not working properly because they're not supposed to hold the guests but let's get into the first topic which is the title the title it's a big problem because it doesn't feel like fnaf the title obviously says five nights at freddy's security breach what? The title doesn't even make sense and it doesn't fit with the story. I mean, I could do a whole theory about why Security Breach has the name, but let's be honest, Security Breach, if I do that, then it's going to get me confused because FNAF is confused. But still, uh, yeah. So, why is FNAF Security Breach really? The name itself is just doesn't make sense to the story because one, it's not five nights at all. It's not even nights. It's only one night. One night. So, what's the point of having... Let's just take out five. And and today's nights. Get rid of that ass. We don't need that. All right. Freddy's nights. Freddy's nights. There we go. Freddy's nights security breach. Now, the security breach. I don't understand, I guess, the animatronic security walls or... Something I don't know. It just the story is confusing because I don't understand it that much at all, really. Because there's another problem with that. There's too many endings and it gets you very confused. There's way too many endings and it doesn't need to be so many endings. It only needs to be a bad one and a good one. That's the only way it makes sense. And a semi good one, not kind of good one, just a bad or good one or just one. It doesn't make sense why it has so many endings. That's why no one can do theories on this game. Because all they're going to talk about is Vanessa and Vanny. That's the only people I can talk about. Because guess what? I don't understand what to talk about about them. Because I don't know. This game is just has too many endings. Like that spoiler warning. Like the ending where the, Freddy and Vanny jumps off. Greg or Master, Vanessa. But post credit scene, Vanessa's on the roof. That can't be her spirit. Because her spirit usually be right next to her. That doesn't make sense. You see, the ending where <coughs> Freddy heads get taken off and they drive into the sunlight. That's just childish and seems like an old 
bootlegged, horrible cartoon that's made by Looney Tunes and Warner Bros. There's too many endings to explain, but I'll get into that later. So, the biggest problem with this game is it just, I don't, I, they made all these years that 3D games has come out, they had, they always stuck with the 2D. They always stuck with the 2D, 2D models. They just stuck with it. They didn't change or anything. And now it doesn't feel more like Final Fantasy, like I said earlier. It just feels like a whole new game, like rebooting a flash franchise for what? Um, next is, I don't like the free roam. I'm sorry, exploring is good in games. I don't like it. It doesn't, still, it doesn't feel like FNAF. It doesn't feel like Five Nights at Freddy's. You running around the place doing this stuff doesn't make sense at all. You go to an office. It starts out good. You think you're going to stay there. Nope, you go somewhere else. You go this, you go this. Destroy the robots. What? It doesn't, how? And then it gives you the choice to fight Vanny, whatever, and stay to investigate the missings. Or leave and she still kills you. That's one of the endings. It still doesn't make sense. And it, 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 it I, I just can't. It just doesn't work for me. At all. And another thing about the game that I don't like is... Okay, Vanny is pitched out as a common psychopath. Like, an absolute psychopath that needs mental help immediately so the cds are fine they're fine but i saw a lot of theories that they're not talking to the same person at all so that just confused me even more like huh i thought they were talking to vanessa nah they talking to someone else after like the after like the fifth tape what like huh who i don't even know and it's sad to be honest okay next thing i don't like about this game is the delays the delays was if it was just gonna be a free roam map where you could just glitch and the glitches that's okay let me get into that for a game to be released now first it was released to you like a week early released to i believe fusion z gamer markiplier most likely i didn't know i didn't think i didn't check Corey x kenshin and probably PewDiePie, probably. Come on, he's PewDiePie, probably. I didn't get it. I didn't. I mean, I wanted a copy, so I'm gonna do a playthrough. But you no, know, don't have the PS5. And come on, Scott, brother, little brother, come on. The boy need the game. Come on, give me the game. He's probably not gonna give me the game because I'm over here roasting his game. Well, technically, it's not even his game. It, it, it's just still rules. Still rules. I'm sorry. You ruined the game. I'm sorry. You just ruined it. It doesn't fit for me. And there's other YouTubers that's saying this. Also, um, first of all, they just they just said f you, Bonnie. Get the f out. Honestly, like they literally kicked my man Bonnie out the group. And then Foxy, whoa, whoa, we gonna kick Foxy? I mean, we have we have. Roxy the wolf, huh? I mean, she kind of bad. So, so Roxy, what you trying to? I'm playing. But Roxy the wolf, that looks like an off-brand Walmart transgender Foxy. That's it. That's all. And Monty's Gator, Monty's Gator, Monty Gator. You replace Bonnie the Bunny with that. With that, absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Could have stuck with the original four. How about those mango in there or whatever? Um, Grandma Freddy, Grandma Chica, not that bad. That I can't lie. To you. Same old, same old. I think Grandma Chica is more like a rock star version of Toy Chica. That that's a game theory video. And Grandma Freddy is just a, it's just like a, like a buffer type of fun time freddy he has the height and all but yeah um jesus christ yeah the delays it was it was just gonna be a free room the delays it delay it got delayed a whole year it's been a year and a couple months i've been waiting for this game to come out 
And I got the books. I got Silver Eyes and Twisted Ones. I read it, made sense, liked it. Go and probably did a theory about it. I'm gonna do a theory probably like later, but whatever. Um, next, uh, for this game that took that long to make, it has way too many bugs, I'm telling you. I'll be watching Corey and Fusion, and shoot, like, first of all, at places that doesn't even take you nowhere, you need to destroy one of the animatronics to take you somewhere, and it doesn't go nowhere. The bugs, you can glitch through the map, you can make, you can literally skip like, Fusion Z Gamer hacked the game, got called by Vanessa, and just skipped a whole two hours in the game. That's a glitch. That should be fixed. Um, But he's hacking, so it kind of doesn't make sense, but still, that shouldn't happen. Two, where's Vanny? She's the main villain. I only saw her three times. She's the main villain. Why is she not in the game? Like, it's like... She don't appear at all. She doesn't appear. I don't see her as much. When I'm watching these YouTubers, I saw her once when she was walking past Franny. When he said, there's no more bunnies here anymore. I'm going to do a theory about that. And then when he went up to, when he, when Gregory was looking at Vanessa, I mean, Vanny, I don't know, that's confusing now. When she was coming to kill that man, he was going to get some murdered, murdered, moodered. Um, and then, the one time she just walked around a piece of legs for like five minutes and said, whoop, gone like your dad. As the main villain, I believe she should be more open, you know? Like, be there more as the main villain and all. Um, another thing that's a problem, that is a big problem, and I hate it. <laughs> um... Gregory, it, he has, there's nothing wrong with him. But there is something wrong with one thing. It, it, the, the animatronics. Oh my God. They're fine. There's nothing that wrong. But it's just that for it did the story destroy the animatronics. There's no other way for you to know, get them on your side. Or not even on your side. Not even on your side. Like. Make the game more original. Because it just... To me right now... Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach... To me, in my opinion... That's not a FNAF game. It's not. It's a failed abortion. It's it's FNAF World. It's FNAF World. It's FNAF World. It's a bootleg version of FNAF World. An absolute fail. Absolute fail. It, it doesn't have... It's not even original... Like, they just, they just took the game and changed it completely. And they has this cringy 1980s grandma version of the of a mall. A mall. What the? F and the game, as a fine as a phrase game, they made the trailer like it was that scary. That you can literally jump out of your seat like you Corey X catch it going through the roof. But no, it's not scary at all. The jump scares are not scary at all. At all, really, it's not. It doesn't give off that scary vibe. For a horror game, it's not scary. I'm about to explain the game in five minutes to you, and or probably five seconds. Gregory finds Gregory. Freddy, they try to get out. He's late. He's gonna get out. Get hunted down, Vanessa. Vanessa gets him. Put him in Lost Found. Vanny gets him. You're literally trying to destroy the animal trying to upgrade Freddy. You see Moondrop, Moon Sun, whatever, whatever their name is. Get kicked out the daycare. Almost died be between him. You get you get the stuff you need. Go to different places. Boom, one daddy, another any, another any, another any. It's just you see. I just explained the whole entire story to you in a couple seconds. I'm looking at my camera. It just hit twenty seconds when I explained that. So all I'm gonna say is, Still Wolf, and you see this video. I am a true FNAF fan. You need to fix the bugs and probably update that game because. Don't change it. It's okay, I guess. But make it a little bit more original. Like, cut it up. Like, make an hour, like one hour. You're, like, going, like, one hour is, like, the different FNAF games. Like, one hour is the first FNAF game. You're in an office, close the doors, 
and you're fighting against Monty, Monty and Roxy. And once you beat Monty, you know, you probably destroy him or get him on your side. Doesn't matter. Just do that. And, you know, probably get on your side. He beats on your side, whatever like that. Or you get his claws and do go to different parts of the map that unlocks different. And then hour two, FNAF 2, kind of the same thing, but it's not. You put your own little twist about it, like um, Glamrock Chica. Um, she comes through the vents. She can use her. She can use her beak to fool you to make voices and stuff inside your head. You can use the mask and stuff, camera system, just like that. Um, hour three, Roxy. No, hour three should be Vanny. Hour three should be Vanny, and she's coming after you, and it's like hide and seek. So. She's she's coming near you, and please take out that glitch thing. It's too annoying, and you can't see. But make it a little bit smaller. You don't have to take it out. Literally, you're hiding from her, and you're trying, and here's what you're trying to do. You're trying to escape where she locked you at, like a certain part of Peace Flex, where that's a lot of high spots. She locks you there, and the only way to get out is to survive one hour and find a key, or key, a key, a Security pass or something like that. Hour four, FNAF four. You're trapped in a well, not trapped in a room, but it should be Roxy. You know, flash the light. Literally, I can do it right now. Watch, 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 watch. watch, watch. Let me turn it up. That's all you have to do. That's all you literally have to do. Flash light. Flash the light. Flash the light at her. She gets weaker every time, and then you can find a way to destroy her. And take our eyes. Next is FNAF 5, aka Sister Location. It shouldn't be that hard. You, okay, so once you destroy the animatronics, I think it should be a good idea to upgrade Freddy at that time because you already need the equipment you need. So it's repair, vent repair from Help Wanted, basically. Not vent repair. Freaking. Parts and services, that section. You upgrade Freddy, the mind, the memory game, all that, and then for like 30 minutes, and then y'all get the time to get the gifts and stuff, and the endos, you need to find like a key or a key card, whatever, it doesn't matter. You need to find something to, um, because the power went out. That's probably, that, that can happen. If you like these ideas, then put it in the comments. Like the power goes out. And Freddy doesn't work, so you can't use him. He can't talk to you very fast, watch. So you gotta be on your own. Find the switch, but the endos are coming at you, but you still have your flashlight, right? The endos are coming at you, you can't recharge your flashlight. It's basically plush trap, the plush trap game, but you have a little bit more freedom and roaming, basically. And then the last couple minutes, the last couple minutes of literally an hour, you know you doing the you doing the ending. It's like, okay, so I think the ending should have been the original list. Gregory, Gregory gets Freddy's head and they adventure, basically. Or they go to the main stage, which is, I don't know why. No, I tried to, I'm going to look it up probably to see if any YouTuber tried to do that. But go to the main stage, see if Vanessa, Vanessa turns out she's working with someone else or she is Vinny and tries to get Gregory. And then Gregory ended up. She ended up getting Gregory because she did the disable and disable Freddy or told the staff bots to get him. And that's it. That's all. Or, like, you could stay, probably. You could stay and try to help Vanessa get over it. Boom. I just made a whole game in 10 minutes. 10 minutes time, I think. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I just made the whole game. A little bit better, I don't know. Send this to other FNAF YouTubers to see so they can debunk it and probably make better and help me. But that's my twist on it. This is the end of the video. I really like this webcam thing. It is lit. It's so lit. So yeah, that's my twist on Security Breach. Still Wolf, Scott, please. The game needs to fix. And for you delayed it this long, it's kind of a disappointment and a letdown a little. I still love the game, and I'm still going to love what your decisions are because I respect it. 
But to let you know, the game feels more like a fan game. You roam around for two hours. You roam around for two hours doing nothing but destroying the animatronics. And another thing before we end this, I heard a lot of people either get confused and be stuck on a certain part for two hours. You need to put like more tips. But in my opinion, I think you're just being lazy and don't want to read the directions because they literally, literally still wolf. I think you about that. In some FNAF games, that it was like that, like sister location. It, it was kind of hard to find out how to beat Foxy, Funtime Foxy and Blora. But it literally tells you what you need to do. But half of the time, it doesn't tell you what you need to do. Because I was literally, I was, because literally I'm watching a YouTuber. He was stuck on the same freaking thing for two hours. Literally two hours. He was live streaming. On, why does this keep going out? On, which one was it? Which one? Endo in the basement. It was annoying. I'm telling you, bro. It was so annoying. I think the batteries are out, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you like the new webcam. I love it. I have a microphone to it, but I don't have a microphone plug, so yeah. That's my twist on FNAF Scary Bridge. The game, it's, it's alright, but... It's not how I expected it supposed to be. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. That's my theory for today. We're not a theory. An XR theory. Stole that from game theory. Trademark pending. Okay, don't sue me. Anyways, bye. Don't sue me, please. Please, my bad. Don't sue me.